let us bow our heads for prayers. Our heavenly Lord, we want to hear your word. Father, feed us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' blessed name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let us sit down. Once again, you are welcome. As you have come this morning, the Lord Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please uh, give me two minutes for this short announcement. It's why coming to the church, it is totally prohibited for you to come in with food or come inside the church to feed your children. Whenever you want to feed your children, you go out. Otherwise, the ushers may insult you. Please. Um, and uh, if there is um, anything the usher tells you, please don't get annoyed. They are not there by their own. They are there by the Spirit of God. Let us uh, give them a little bit of respect. Please, if you, are not, if, you, if you are doing the right thing, nobody will accuse you wrongly. Just follow the instructions. Then also, today, if you belong to uh, any of the uh, state, there is going to be state meeting today. Maybe you are from any Igbo, Ekitizon, and so forth. They will wait for you to meet you as well. But if you don't belong to any, it means you are not part of us. So you can go home. Thank you. Then also, uh, during the course of um, announcement, please, we don't want any interruption at any fault. The announcement, if it's three announcements, let the announcer make three announcements. And if it's going to be any additional announcement, that will be uh, later. Please, the announcers should note this. And God bless us in Jesus' name. This morning, we are going to talk about favor. Can I hear you saying that? Yeah. I can't hear that. Yeah. When God favors you, He looks after your well being. Everything about you is concerned about it. When God favors you, then He answers your prayers. When the Lord favors you, he will be doing real things in your life. Like a man who says, ah, I, I'm always all, almost to kill somebody. Nobody, if a Kanda rider mistakenly come near you and you knock the Okada rider, people will not say that it's the fault of the Okada rider. They will say it's your fault. Everybody, they will start making arguments, especially if you now give up. They say you have killed somebody. But when God favors you, He will always see you true. When God favors you, He will always be by your side. I tell some I tell somebody on Thursday, I say, Who are you? He said, He's a secretary to a very respected person. And I told her, I said, Ah, this is a great favor. Don't misuse it. Whatever position you had today, find yourself to be a favored person. There's nothing that we call just opportunity, just come my way that way. No, 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 no. Every opportunity is a favor. Every opportunity that comes your way is God's divine favor. Don't see that, me, uh, well, they're supposed to give this to my dad. They're supposed to give this to my dad. And uh, when they don't give to my dad, then uh, they now remembered me. No, nobody remembers you. You can only be remembered if God's faithful shines over you. Joseph. I want to take Joseph as a test case. They wanted to kill him. God changed their mind. That is favor. They sold him. And when they sold him, a woman said, See, 
I want to sleep with you. And because of that, he was sent to jail. And there in the jail, the God's favor locates him. That is favor. From there, somebody had a dream and said, please, interpret this dream for me. And interpreted it right. And it was released. The president of that country now had the same dream. And they now said that, who, who is going to interpret? Meanwhile, Joseph was not the only interpreter in the country. There are sorcerers, there are spiritualists, there are other people, there are magicians, but they cannot interpret. Then somebody now remember Joseph, where he was. I said, come, come and interpret for the president. Whoever that's supposed to help you, as I'm talking to you this morning, that person will remember you this week. Yeah. Genesis 4 4. Joseph, from the history, is not from that country, he's a foreigner. And from the land of foreigner, God remembered him and said, Oh, go and look for Joseph, oh, go and look for Joseph, oh, and bring him. Hallelujah. Yeah. A boy was talking to me yesterday. He said, Daddy, uh, maybe about four, two days ago, there was a jam exam that took place. And I said, that, Daddy, the only thing I want now is favor. I said, go and read. That is the only favor you need. He said, yes, I will read. But you know, at, for the past two years, I've been sitting for jam. I have never got to the cut off mark. But this time, I need favor. I will read. Then, yesterday he called me and said that he, he, that he got uh, 285. Hallelujah. And I said, that is favor. And I said, it's not over. That they are going to do after this test. I said, well, he said, it's coming up soon. soon. I, need, I see need favor. But in my area that he has the highest cut of mark, the highest and the cut of mine is just 180. See the difference. That is favor. The only thing you need, the only grace you need in life is favor. When you are from zero position and somebody, God sends somebody to you that go there and take this person up, put him up. When you are favored, you must be very, very careful. Can you please read the Lord, please? But Abel brought fat portions from yes. some of the firstborn of his flock. Yes. The Lord, the Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Thank you. I was telling somebody about three days ago, I said, I said he's a special advisor to a particular person. I said, that is the biggest favor that nobody has ever received in your family. He said, yes. Two days later, he's supposed to put some things in place. And uh, he, now, he now got a lot of messed up. And I said, wow. You know, when you are favored before God, you must always follow God's instructions. Because for any position you find yourself, it is not by your power. Especially when you are the favor sight of the Lord. You must always think that there are some people who can do it better than you before God picked you. There are some people who have the experience better than you before God said, no. Go and pick this person to be there. Nigeria is about, let's say, 190 million people in the country. 190. Forget about the 140, 150. All these are just uh, speculations. Now, uh, me, I'm giving myself as an example. They are counting people. They have never counted me. 
I am telling you. I'm telling you the, the truth. They have never counted me. There are many people like that that they have never counted. They count people like us. Then with what they have, we are up to Nigeria is about 180, 170. And that's why we are, we are killing ourselves. When I look at the Boko Haram of a thing, you will see that why is it that the thing is happening in that area? Does that mean that God is not favoring that area again? If you are not favored, then calamities will be befalling somebody. Boko Haram, they say they are from the uh, northeast or wherever, where, whatever they call it. God has never allowed them to deem it fit and come to our end. For the past, um, going to about one and a half years, no, two years now. Because they started this problem October 1st, 2010. Up to date. Is it not God's favor? You enter a bus from one location. When you embark from one location to another location and you get down safely, it's God's favor. You sleep and you wake up without sickness. So when they sleep, they wake up. They may have stroke. They may be in coma. They may be rushed to the hospital. What you don't even expect. What you cannot, doctor will never diagnose. They will say, oh, this is exactly, we don't know. This, God is in control. We look, we see what to do. You sleep with the same bed with that person and nothing happens to you. It's God's favor. You eat and the food digested without any complications is God's favor. You can address issues properly. It's God's favor. It's God's favor. Let's look at the book of Genesis 6-8. And as a matter of fact, you come to church and God said to you that, look, I have accepted your offering. It's favor. Do you know how many people that goes out with their offering and God rejected it? People who goes with fact offering before the altar of God and God said, no, I don't accept that your offering. You will see that they will say, oh, and a building collapsed. They said two people died. Several were injured. And you are in that place. Nothing happened to you. That is God's favor. That's what we call uncountable favor of God. Look at the bomb plants that happened in Abuja. A girl of eight months. Eight months. Nothing happened to her. This baby cannot talk. He cannot say, oh, don't touch me. He cannot, she cannot run. This bomb killed nothing less than one to two hundred people. But a baby of eight months escaped it. That is God's favor. You enter the rain. Maybe about two weeks ago. You know, rain kills people. Yes. That same rain that kills several people, you enter it. You are not killed. Are you not favored? It is not where you have millions or billions in your account. That you say, oh, God, you have not favored me from the little, little things that happens. You continue to say, ah, God, thank you because I am favored. What does it mean? But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. That's it. When you are a useful vessel 
before the Lord, you are favored. For me to be here this morning and talk to you, I am favored. For you to listen and follow whatever I said, you are favored. Mind you, not everybody that comes to church that listening, not everybody that comes to church that understands, not everybody that comes near this altar that knows what the altar represents. But if you are favored, you will understand. When you don't understand the purpose of your life, you misbehave. Then that means you are not favored. That is the truth. If you come to the church and say, oh, this is what the Lord said, though, you understand it. Understanding is favor. There are a lot of people that wanted to hear that word, but there's no opportunity. Where you sit now, there's no problems. You are not sitting. Ah, maybe I'm Robert will enter or there will be Bombo. In the eastern part, in the northern part of the country, as you sit, they don't sit like that on Sundays. They are always afraid. There is no police station in the northern east of the country. There is no court. I am telling you, police, they don't arrest anybody again. They don't. They don't even go to, they don't even go to station most times. They don't. And you sit gently. You have peace. Are you not favored? You are sound. Nothing happens to your health. There are some people they want to sleep. They don't take Valium 5. Or I don't know. Maybe they say there is Valium 10. I don't even know. You take about 4. They take less of time. They say there is one they call 10 milligram, 5 milligram, 20 milligram. They can take four. They can take two of it before they sleep. But you can sleep without using any drugs. Are you not favored? Children of God, for every situation you find yourself positively, always appreciate it. And use it very judiciously. When God favored Mandela, remember when God favored Obama. These are the ones we can we can we can we can see. When God favors Obasanjo, when God favors Yadua. There are some people who are they are they are they are they are they are, they are hell and hearty. God did not make them as a president. They can think better than him. He does not make them as a president. No matter your background, no matter where you are coming from, if God is ready to favor you, nobody can stop it. It will just go straight. When God wanted to favor, favor Tinumbu, it makes him from nowhere. People say it's not a Lagosian, and yet he's there. It doesn't mean your background, though.
cannot talk like me. But because God went out to favor Moses, yes, I would, I would bring somebody by your side who will be doing the talking. You need help somewhere. You need somebody to assist you for something very crucial and important. At this very point in time, that person will locate you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me share this testimony with you. Maybe it will make a lot of sense. A boy has, uh, he wants to take um, Air Force 4. And he says, from Ogun State. He said, do I know anybody in Ogun State? I said, I don't know anybody. Oh. But what I'm going to do for you is this. You go to the secretariat. Say you are looking for the SSG. Then tell the SSG that you want him to sign this form for you. Eh? He said that would be difficult. I said it's not difficult. He said it's going to be difficult because he's not a politician. His father is not known. He is this. Just say all sorts of things. I said, okay, you know what? On Friday, go. God is await is awaits you. The boy left Lagos. I said, what you will do is dress well. Dressed very well. He dressed well. He got to the gate. Because I'm still looking at it. It's like favor. When he got to the gate, the gate man, when he got to the gate, he said, he's going to the SSD office. A woman was going, you know, it does not concern the woman. The woman just went to, you are going to the SSD office, follow me. <laughs> you know, there will be post by post. The woman said, he's following me to the SSD office. He's following me. The woman, God used that woman for him. When he now goes to the SSD's office, he's not working inside the SSD's office, so he's just a very powerful woman that works in governor's office. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This woman went straight to the SSG and said that a young man is, is looking for you. He said, what? And this when it is time for your pro, for your for your for your favor, you will break all protocols. Amen. You don't understand what I'm saying. The boy did not know this woman. They are not family. But God have strategically purpose of this boy. Just as God have positioned Moses for the Israelites. And he sees that Moses cannot talk. He says, Tamara. He now said, don't worry. I will bring somebody who will be doing the talking. But you will be doing the spiritual. Don't worry. Whatever you want, that person that is needed in your life, at this appropriate time, we locate you. Amen. When this woman got there, the woman said, let me see the man that I wanted to sign the papers. He has other people who have been there before that boy he signed. I look at him and I said, don't, 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 don't misuse this opportunity. He just said, hey, give him 20000 for transport fare. Is that not a favor? Is that not a common favor? Tell me that something is impossible for God to do. He did not, his father is not connected with the SSG. There is no protocol. God just positioned that woman. What do you want? You have a project, you have a proposal, you have a long plans or so many things you want to do. And you look at around you, 
you see that there's nobody to help. You feel that nobody behind you. There's nothing that is impossible for God to do. Even when if it's, you are in the wilderness, where there's no human being, you know God can send animal to you to come and favor you. He can send anybody at any given time if you are favored. He can do anything because of you. If any danger that is coming, God can protect billions of people. That is a favor. And you see, the, the enemies will confess. It's, it's because of the man I see behind you. If not that man, I would have killed you. That is favor. That is favor. Before the end of this week, that uncommon favor will be your portion. Amen. Let's take this before we run off. Let's look at the second lesson. The second lesson. Because there's no time. Anybody? It seems the man doesn't know the, where the second lesson is. To lesson proclaim is. the year of the Lord's favor. Yes. Then you yes. the eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. Yes. And he began by saying to them, Yes. Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Say amen. Yeah. It's too small. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Paul spoke well of him, and we are amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. Isn't this Joseph's son? They asked. Jesus said to them, Hold on. You know what? Who Jesus is? A carpenter. His father is not connected. He's not known. He's not popular. And God went to that family and bring a savior out of that place. From your family, right from this onset, presidents, governors, ministers, Akatan generals, billionaires, trillionaires, we emerge from your family. Amen. That is the favor of God. They will say, Is it not that woman that is selling Shako uh, under that bridge? Are you not the son of a uh, uh, woman that is selling charcoal for us under that bridge? How, how, how come do you make it? That is favor. Tell them not to, not to bother too much. That is what we call what? Favor. I can't hear you. Favor. Go ahead, please. Hot spoke well of him, and we are amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. Isn't this Joseph's son? They asked. Jesus said to them, Surely you will quote this proverb to me. Physician, heal yourself. Do you hear in your hometown mm -hmm. what you have heard that you did in Capernaum? Mm. I tell you the truth, he continued. Mm. No prophet is accepted in his hometown. Yes. I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in Elijah's time. Yes. When the sky was short for three and a half years. Yes. And there was a severe famine. That is a favor. Underline that. Throughout, yes, go ahead. Throughout the land. Yes. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them. Can you see? But to a widow yes. in Zarephath, uh -huh. in the region of Sidon. Uh -huh. And there were many in Israel yes. with leprosy. Yes. In the time of Elijah, yes. the prophet. Yes. Yet not, no, yet not one of them was cleansed. Yes. Only Naaman. Thank you so much. There are many people in this country. Are you sick? There are many people that are sick. They are in hospital. You know, as I said, you should pray this morning that God lose me from enemy's prison. You might be in enemy's prison. You may not know. You may be, you may be unconscious. The favor of God will lose you this morning. Amen. There are many people that go to church this morning.
to pray to God. Do you think that their prayers, all of them, their prayers will be answered? No. But just prayers will be among of those that their prayers will be answered. A widow in a particular region. God did not send to them. And I said, go and look for you this morning. God have sent an angel to look for you this morning. And favored you. If you are seeing all these miraculous things, don't misbehave. You are just find favor amongst the people. Cherish it, appreciate it, hold it, and be thankful to God. Don't misbehave. I remember of a man. He was commissioner of uh, information to Jonathan then. And from there, they make him the president's spokesman. He was talking to somebody and said that, see, today is my turn. Tomorrow may be another person's turn. He said, no favor is permanent. That's what he said. He said, no favor. I said, it's a lie. If it's a favor from God, he said, why I said, well, the president can remove me today from this position and put another person. I said, either you said that or not, me, I don't believe in that. Because he doesn't understand what he's saying. I believe that he's in an enemy's prison yard. That was why he said that. Your own favor will be permanent. Amen. Oh, the amen is too smart. I say, your own favor will be permanent. Amen. When your favor is permanent, when your favor is permanent, that is when God will always see you true. When your favor is permanent, you cannot lack of anything good. When your favor is permanent, God will tell you, don't worry, my son, my daughter. Here I am with you. I will not allow any evil to befall you because you are favored. When you are favored, you cannot do, you cannot, you can never fail. Because Every impossibility will always be possible for you because you are favored. For every situation that you are seeing, you are finding the interest of God, see it as favor. Don't mismanage this favor because you may not see it again. When you see opportunity, don't say it's just opportunity. Say this is favor. It is favor. When you are doing something and you are going and you are making it, don't tell me that, ah, I have the strength, I have the strategy, I have this, I have that. No. It is favor. Is it everybody that surrounds the president or get an appointment understand what it is? Don't you see HNC uh, giving a uh, commissioner if you go to north, even in, uh, in our place here, the deputy governor, is he educated? Is she? Well, if you don't know, I'm telling you, she's not educated. She's from my six certificate holder. From there, he has a teacher, he started brushing her up, he started putting her through. From that place, he becomes a commissioner. From commissioner to deputy governor. He does not have BSCO. He's just trying to have BSC at last to now. You know, when you get to that position, they will quickly arrange for you. A teacher blue, blue, blue will become, hey, you can start reading. You start having uh, all sort of uh, lectures here and there. And there are people who are better than her. When I went to Ayoni, he was, she was praying. She was even afraid. If so, Mama Peace will not be first lady of our country. Eh? But that is God's favor. Ir 
irrespective of your level, of your class, of your age, of anything, I am decreeing and I am proclaiming and I am addressing you this morning. That uncommon favor that nobody has ever seen in your family this morning will locate you. Pray for God's favor now. Ask God to grant you his favor. Don't, don't have restriction. Just go straight. You can say you want to become a president. It's a favor. You can tell God, I want to be billionaire. Anything you want to become. Just said, God, I need your favor to achieve this. God, I need your favor to get here. God, I need favor to be here. Where well, else will assist me to get to where I want? It doesn't matter. He can send the president to you. He can send the governor to you. He can send billionaire to you. He can send anybody to you to get to your destination. Tell God, send whoever that will hate me to get to my destination to me this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we have heard the word. Let the word be favor to us. Anything we want to do this way, Father, be favor to us. Whatever we are laying our hands on this week, Father, be favor to us. Favor will be your portion. Favor will follow you. Favor will direct you. Favor will speak with you. Favor will touch you. In Jesus' name we pray. Just hold somebody by your side and tell the person that I am favored. Offering time. It's offering time. Blessing time. Please package all your offerings together. Accept the tithe. We bring the sacrifice of praise.